From the airport, we immediately went to the hotel, checked in and left our luggages and headed to explore the city. Since ancient times, Rome was known as the Queen of the Water. There are more than 1,500 fountains in Rome. Rome is also famous for its over 2,500 nasoni, its cast iron fountains ceaselessly pouring cold drinking water throughout the city. Are you envious of him? Fontana de Trevi, but as you can see, there are tourists behind me, so we will come back here early in the morning without the crowd. <laughs> Fontana de Trevi is the largest Baroque fountain in the city and undoubtedly one of the most famous in the world. Designed by Italian architect Nicola Salvi and completed by Panini. The Pantheon is a former Roman temple. It was dedicated to all the gods. It is the best conserved ancient Roman temple in the whole world. It was saved because it became a church immediately when the Roman Empire embraced Christianity as the official religion. The diameter of the dome was the biggest dome during the ancient times for 1,500 years until Brunelleschi built the dome of the Florence Cathedral. Michelangelo said that it is the work of angels and not humans. but this is not known for most tourists it is where the locals eat and one tip that I can give you when choosing a restaurant is when it's handwritten it means that they change their meals every day and it's cheaper <laughs> Piazza Bispagna is one of the most famous squares in Rome, Italy. We visited the square before sunrise to avoid the crowd. During daytime, this is a great place to relax, sit on the steps 
and watch the intense Roman life. In spring, the steps are beautifully decorated with splendid flowers. Thank you.